Today, I'm gonna talk about how I cleared my first $1 million in total revenue running my home care agency. Welcome back to my channel. If you are revisiting, thank you for coming back. My name is Scott McKenzie, and I am the founder of a home care agency called Golden Age Companions based in Irvine, California. We have been in business since 2011 and have done a total of $8 million of revenue. And I also have a company called Home Care Agency Blueprint, which is designed to help you start and scale your own home care agency. And if you want to book a call with me, there's a link in my description there on how to start the conversation of possibly starting your very own home care business. So, you know, today's gonna be kind of like a quick video. I just wanted to discuss what, like, basically how I got to my first 1 million in total revenue running my home care agency. I did start in 2011 and I was working at Starbucks. The company was incorporated towards the end of 2011 and then we really, you know, started up our operations getting our very first client in 2012. And I literally got that client. I was pulling up at Starbucks, grabbing my tips and there was, I had a logo on the side of my car and somebody said, you know, they knew me from working at Starbucks, but they asked if it was my new company. And I said, yes. And, and they said their mom needed care. So we ended up really the short of it is setting up home care three days a week. And that was my very first client. And then, moving towards you know like i had entered pepperdine business school so i was doing that at night local in irvine they had night like entrepreneur business classes so i was doing that a few days a week at night i was actually still juggling starbucks and i was doing golden age during the day of what i could and knew what to do for the business so the start for me was slow it took you know the first like year just like even to get a couple clients and then Really when I started, I had graduated Pepperdine just within a two year period and towards the tail end of that, I started putting a lot of energy into Golden Age Companions and and really what kind of like changed was when I ended up getting a actual office space where I started literally just bringing in caregivers and interviewing them. Even if we, you know, quote unquote, didn't have cases, didn't have clients, I started just interviewing more and more caregivers bringing people in letting them know kind of like you know putting the energy out there like you know we do have some cases that eventually will be coming up and et cetera, et cetera. and and then i started getting more strategic as far as you know really focusing on the things that i wanted to do not the things that i felt like i had to do and i know that this is you know this is more like based on opinion on my side but like, I really like what I didn't love doing was going off to like all these networking events and meeting all these people and having to kind of like basically feel like I'm just there to ask for referrals. I just didn't like that. Now, if you're the type of person that just loves going to these events and like meeting new people and that's just like your jam, then that's, you know, more power to you because that is a very good way of getting your business out there and getting more clients. Now, I would go out to events. I would meet with people. I just felt like you know, I think, I think really looking back on it was, I was just so young. I was like 23 years old. So I'm going to events with people in their late forties, fifties, sixties. And it's just like, I, fe I just felt like almost like an outcast. And I think, you know, now at 34 years old, like I have no, pro I actually enjoy going to events, meeting new people. And it just feels like it, maybe it's just cause I'm older now. Um, so yeah, but back to like how I really got to my first $1 million, it was, I was number one, bringing in caregivers. Even if we didn't necessarily have the clients, I was kind of putting the energy out there, getting caregivers like on staff, ready to go, preparing to get even more clients. And, and like that, the energy kind of changed because then I started to get like some of the caregivers I was talking to, they would say that they knew someone else. And then, you know, maybe like they had a friend in a facility that was a discharge planner that was able to refer us patients. Um, then I got networked with like a physical therapy clinic that they just started sending us some clients. So we really grew pretty rapidly and, uh, in just like a six month period, we went from like five clients to like 16 and that year we cleared like 
revenue. And then it just, it, it, got, it just like went up from there. So that was like really where I, it, it's, it's just funny, like looking back because the first few years, it was like in the hundreds of thousands, like the low. And then all of a sudden, once it hit to like that 1 million mark, it was, it seemed like it was really easy to get the 2 million mark. And, um, the highest we've ever done is almost three in a year. So I just wanted to share that in my personal experience of, you know, being in this business for over a decade. So I know, you know, most of our revenue has really come through the past like five years, even though we've been in business for so long. I've also learned throughout the the years what it is to focus on. And and I mean, honestly, I've, I've also learned the last two years as the business has gotten bigger, you know, you have more revenue coming in. There's more money to place in areas. And I've learned a lot on, you know, what not to spend money on, even if you have it. And so that's that's exactly why I designed Home Care Agency Blueprint to really, you know, teach you how to start up your own home care business. And that's why we really can start up a home care business in under six weeks. That's licensing set aside. But we can like we've we've done it in as little as three and a half weeks from start to finish setting up an entity, the branding, everything for, you know, putting the infrastructure for a home care agency in place. And then it's just waiting on getting that licensing approval and then you're ready to rock. So, you know, I've learned over time, like simplicity too is ideal. That's best. And, you know, like where the business was most profitable was when we had really low overhead, not a big office and less software. So I have really refined all of that in the home care agency blueprint where, you know, when I'm coaching my students, I'm letting them know it could be tempting to go sign up for this software and that software and all these other things. But the reality is there's only a handful of softwares you truly need. And, and a lot of the softwares that could be signed up for, I mean, I'm just going to give like an example, like, you know, maybe like an email campaign software. There's some that are hundreds of dollars a month and then they charge more for users. And I mean, yeah, you eventually want that, but you don't need an email campaign software when you have 10 clients, if, if that makes sense. So you'll find that, I have found that I was spending money on things, softwares that just weren't really driving revenue and then focusing on the things that can drive revenue. So the other, the last thing that I'll mention here is as you do get bigger, I mean, it seems like sometimes it's like pushing a boulder up a hill to get like the first few clients, but really as you bring in more caregivers, you get to know more people, people know your agency, it just gets a lot easier. So it just does because then you have, you know, say if, for example, you've interviewed a total of 30, 40 caregivers. It's very easy to say, okay, can this caregiver, can you go over to this client's house? We have a last minute call out, et cetera, et cetera. Where when you're very first starting out, you may only know a few handful of caregivers. So that's what I wanted to talk about today was just really how I got to my first 1 million revenue. And also, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this video. I would appreciate it. And there's also a link in the description to book a one-on-one call with me if you'd like to talk about setting up your very own home care agency. We also have a weekly uh, webinar on Fridays. Right now it's on Fridays. It will be every week. We might modify it later, but yeah, you can book that as well. And that's just like an FAQ. And if you just want to learn more about home care or just listen in, come join us. So. Thanks so much. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.